The word Greek, economics, means household or manager of a household. And economics is the study of a head of household or a householder back in biblical times. So I'm also, in addition to being an economist and a speaker, I'm a householder. I have to pay bills like everybody else. I have to worry that I'm gonna make enough money going forward for four children who are now in high school to go off to college. I have to worry about where I might live when I retire and make investments. The last time I got a monthly check to live on was 1981 right. when I left Citibank and went out on my own as an entrepreneur. And I'm 64 years old today. And I look at businesses as not what will this business do for the future 10, 20 years from now, what will this business do next year, next year, next year? Because I like having cash flow coming in. So you make a distinction between phases of life and type of investment that would kind of match with where you are. The key in, to investing once you're an adult is the term harvesting. Mm -hmm. When are you going to harvest your crop? You start to see that you should be driven by your family situation. What do you need to live on? Who are we at our stage in life when you're about to do an investment? Most important, before you worry about how much and how are you going to make money, when are you going to make money? Right. If you invest money now, and I'm talking to anyone over 30, when does harvest time come around? Right. And you need to quantify that and figure out your time horizon of investing before you figure out how you're going to invest, how you're going to manage your money, and bring happiness. Because ultimately, money is really not about gross domestic product and increasing. Mm -hmm. It's about gross national happiness mm -hmm. versus, I just want to make money. If you serve a product to someone very well and make them very happy, trust me, you'll make a lot of money. <laughs> the moment you take your eye off the product and the end use customer and how much they're enjoying it, get out of the business because it's going to kick you out. You should always remember that value in life comes from serving another human being. When you can bring a smile to a child, your spouse, your friend, or yourself, you're happy. And business at its root is serving another human being. It's making them happy by delivering something they want for less money or time that they could do it themselves. And that's what's so exciting to me about economics. I see this wonderful world out there of seven and a half billion people trying to find an edge to how to serve another human being better. That's what makes economics, that's what drives them to success.